Tomorrow, students at Bowie State University will go back to class for the first time since last week's shooting on campus. Of course, they'll be they'll be returning rather with heightened security and a larger debate about how to keep campuses safe amidst a growing societal problem. WSA 9's Katie Kairos has the latest on the school's changing landscape. One week after the shooting that caused chaos during homecoming at Bowie State University and halted classes for the week, psychology student Josefina Marshall says she's ready to be back on campus, but with a new awareness. Because of how open the campus is, like I'm just here on a Sunday and was asked if I'm a student. I could be anybody, you know what I mean? Starting this weekend, armed security guards are in place on campus 24-7, scanning every car's license plate. More lighting has been installed on campus. The new measures will be in place as students return to class. I think seeing friendly faces, security guards, armed guards, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, I think, you know, anyone with ill intentions could be intimidated by police presence on the campus. The shooting happened on late Saturday night, October the 8th. Two 19 year olds, not students, were injured and the shooter remains at large. The incident came within a few days of a shooting at Morgan State University, another local HBCU. The university is grappling with how to keep students safe on an open campus and looking at other security possibilities, including weapons detection and more fencing. We've all come together. That's the bottom line. Uh, we had to come together because we're a campus community. So right now we're just feeling that we want to get back, as they say, get back to, if you will, normal where we're, students are learning in classes and just get back to do what we do as a university. At Bowie State, Katie Kairos, WUSA 9.